If you go to Turkey right now, make sure that you walk around the city with this, or even this, or any passport, because local Turks are not allowed to leave the house during lockdowns, but tourists have no restrictions. Yes, this sounds crazy and it blows a lot of people's minds, especially if you're from America where people take their freedoms pretty seriously. Now, it all depends on the lockdown. Sometimes seven days a week, this is in effect. Other times it's just the weekends and sometimes when I was there, it was just on Sundays. And there are literally checkpoints, police checkpoints that check to make sure that you're not Turkish. So I've been stopped a bunch of times and as long as you show a passport to any other country, they say, go ahead. Why is it doing this? Well, the first one is to protect its citizens from COVID. There are more than 80 million people in Turkey and they don't want them to be out and about when the COVID numbers are getting really bad. Okay, so why not just do like other countries and close the borders completely? Well, because Turkey likes foreign money. They like having tourists. It helps their economy. Now, some people who are Turkish are allowed to leave the house, for instance, if they work at a grocery store or if they work in the tourism sector, like hotels or some restaurants. There are two ways to look at this. On one hand, yeah, it's not really fair that it's people can't leave the house, but tourists can leave the house. But on the other hand, it sees this as a way of protecting its people from a pandemic. And guess what? This tourist actually got COVID while in Turkey. Now, I can't confirm that I got COVID during a lockdown day where all the Turks were inside and I was one of the tourists that was outside, but I still did get COVID, which you can watch on my YouTube channel. So should you visit Turkey? Well, let's go over the pros and cons. Turkey is an amazing place. It's one of my favorite countries in the world. It's usually a very vibrant energy, which obviously wasn't the case during my six weeks in Turkey, but it was still an amazing place to be because the people are really warm, welcoming, and just very social. The food is absolutely incredible. And because the Turkish lira has fallen to the US dollar, things are pretty cheap right now in Turkey. By the way, I made a whole video about that too. Check it out. A lot of things are not open. For instance, the nightlife obviously is not open in Turkey. However, there are a number of attractions that you can see such as the bazaar, and the famous mosques. One of the things I loved about this trip to Turkey was actually the fact that there weren't many other tourists. In fact, there were very few. And I really liked that because my last times I visited Turkey, there were a ton of tourists everywhere. And to really enjoy a place, it's kind of nice to not see too many other tourists, to just be completely immersed in the culture. My favorite way to travel is to be in a place where there are no other tourists because you get to immerse yourself completely in the culture. Those are some reasons to visit Turkey right now. But with lockdowns happening on and off, on and off, I honestly cannot recommend most people go to Turkey, especially if it's your first time it won't do justice for your trip. One of the reasons I liked it so much is because I was working remotely there for about six weeks. So I worked a lot on my laptop, I filmed a lot of videos, and I didn't necessarily experience Turkey as a tourist. In fact, I don't recommend going to Turkey right now to experience it as a tourist. But if you just need a change of scenery, want to work remotely somewhere, and it's safe to do so, then I highly, highly recommend you visit Turkey. The number of people who speak English in Turkey is very low, but between translation apps, you'll be able to navigate just fine. If you get a chance, rent a car and leave Istanbul. I did that for the first time and it was absolutely amazing to go to the countryside and drive through Turkish villages. My next plan will be to go to Eastern Turkey one day. But for now, I would say definitely add Turkey to your list, even if it's not for a couple years. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you think about Turkey and where you're planning to travel this year, if at all. While you're at it, check out all of my vlogs from Turkey, subscribe to my channel, and find me on Instagram and TikTok at Upton.